Hey, hey, hey! Welcome back to the Abundance Street Podcast. I'm your host, Janice Lick. I love it. I'm like, hey, 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 hey! I'm April Capri, <laughs> Abundance <laughs> Street. <Like. laughs> I love it, girl. In the house. That's right. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing wonderful. How are you doing? Doing well, girl. Doing well. I'm excited. I'm digging. I'm digging that blouse, girl. It looks pretty. Very thank nice. You. Thank you. Thank very, you. Very thank nice. you. Thank you. Thank you. As usual. As usual. So we're ahead of tax time. We're in March, the beginning of March, right? So y'all want to pay attention to this guest that we have coming on tonight because uh, being ahead of tax time, you guys need to pay close attention to this wonderful guest we have on. So who do we have, April? I'm excited. <laughs> Absolutely. We got an extra special treat for you guys. Um, we have a renowned American entrepreneur celebrated for his innovative, innovative contributions to the tax preparation industry. From humble beginnings as a tax preparer at H&R Block, his entrepreneurial journey led him to led him to found Jackson Hewitt in 1982. With a relentless focus on customer service and convenience, he transformed Jackson Hewitt into one of the nation's largest tax preparation companies, boasting over 6,000 locations nationwide. Join us as we explore his remarkable career and gain insights from his extraordinary success Please welcome everybody. Show some love for Mr. John Hewitt. John Hewitt. And also, from, he did Liberty Tax as well. The tax John man. Yes. <laughs> the tax man is Liberty Tax it. as well, yeah. <laughs> hey, John. Definitely. Welcome, John. We can't see you yet. You can? Uh -oh. I'm going to say, show yourself. There you go. There you are. <laughs> hey, welcome. John. Welcome. Thank, Thank you. you so much. My pleasure. My yeah. pleasure quite an honor for us so uh we like to celebrate like non-traditional stories and like, we we know uh, about your entrepreneurial kind of about your entrepreneurial journey and your tax businesses but we want to hear it from you so tell us about yourself sure i'll give you a three or four minute version of my 54 year career <laughs> awesome. you got a little bit longer than that thank you time. Right. i started when i was at the university of buffalo and I took a tax course from H&R Block, loved it. And one of my many blessings in my life is when I was 20 years old, I found out what I wanted to be when I grew up. And so uh, 12 years later, I was running 250 H&R Block locations. And my dad was the CFO of a public company. He had been uh, in a world without computers way before your, you guys can remember. And uh, he liked the, the Apple he bought by mail better than the mainframe that was running his public company. So he decided that we should computerize taxes. So even though I was ecstatic, happy working for H&R Block, running 250 offices, 30 years old, um, I left H&R Block and he left his public company. And in 1981, we built the first tax software for an Apple computer. No one wanted it, way ahead of its time. Got lucky and found a company in Virginia Beach called Mel Jackson Tax Service. Mel had died. We bought six offices from Mel Jackson's widow in August of 1982. I had a, um, uh, we merged the two companies. We changed the name to Jackson Hewitt and we set out to compete with 9,000 H&R Block offices. And our goal was to be have one more office than H&R Block. So we had six and they had 9,000. Well, 15 years later, we sold it for $483 million, public company. And it went on to become a billion dollar company. So my first, my first venture was building software, then a billion dollar company. And today, Jackson Hewitt is the 23rd largest franchise chain in the country. And wow. um, I had a three-year non-compete when I left. And it didn't cover Canada because Jackson Hewitt never has gone to Canada. Having grown up in Buffalo, I knew the Canadian tax system. So we opened Liberty Tax in Canada in 1998. Uh, Three years later, we were one of the top 100 retail chains in Canada. So now I built one of the top 100 retail chains in U.S. 
and one of the top 100 in Canada. 2000 came back to the United States. Now I had to compete against my own name, my own software, my own system, my own people at Jackson Hewitt. And yet John Hewitt and Liberty Tax grew faster than them and h and Block combined. We opened 4,000 offices in, in 12 years, top 10 fastest growing franchisor ever. Again, a half a billion dollar company and again, a public company. And I sold my stock. So I founded two public companies that were worth half a billion. One became a billion dollar company. The Both of them top 100 retail chains in the country. I'm the only person that's built, founded two of the top 100 retail chains in the country. Now we've started after selling Liberty, we started loyalty brands and loyalty brands has eight different franchise systems. So at Jackson Hewitt, I had one at Liberty. I had one now loyalty brands has eight different brands. Uh, our two fastest growing are the tax division, which competes with h and Block, A-Tax, and Jackson Hewitt and Liberty. We're, again, fastest growing, growing faster than all of them. But the most exciting is, is Zoom and Grooming, our mobile pet grooming service. I've just been enamored over the last two and a half years since we acquired that. I've been just um, crazy about how people love their pets so much and the pet industry is exploding. So we have out of our eight brands, two of them are exploding, the tax and pets. Wow, that is so, I would say awesome. I mean, I can't believe it. that's so cool. I love that it. Is, <laughs> it's definitely amazing. Like yes. huge shout out to you and your dad. You guys were like born trailblazers or something because quick question, just to go back. Um, how, before you guys developed the software, how were people doing taxes? Was it like pen and paper? <laughs> like how yeah, innovative yes. was your software at the time? Yes, the, back in um, 1981, before we um, designed the first tax software for Napa, 99% of the tax returns were paper, paper and pencil. I just wow. wanted to revisit that to just definitely yes. give your flowers some more for just you literally not even made uh, so much progress with your you know retail change, but you just literally um, industrialized the tax industry with the first software. You know what I mean? Right. That's, that's so major. So definitely salute to you. Right. You. I'm, I'm trying to think. I was pretty young back then, but uh, <laughs> that's awesome. I Definitely a household name growing up and as, I, I'm young, as I'm coming into young adulthood and stuff, and even to this day where I, I can see the uh, the fruits of your your initial labors because we do have several Liberty Tax and, and Jackson Hewitt's and and where I live in Texas. So just shout out to you and your your uh, team and um, it's just amazing. I'm just so honored to have you on and I don't even know what to ask. You know, honestly, <laughs> but, <laughs> um, with your new franchise opportunities, are you looking to help people like get started? Like even now, or is there room for growth for people want to get in start started with their own business? Is there room for people to get in? Absolutely. I brought in, in my career, I brought in over 5,200 franchisees, if you can believe that. So uh, I don't, there must be someone else that's done that. I don't know them, but I brought in more franchise. I mean, and those 5,200 franchisees had hundreds of thousands of employees. So I've been, I've been blessed in, in, with changing people's lives and making the world a better place. And uh, I've, I've already helped create a thousand millionaires. So there's, there's lots of opportunity. All of our brands, our goal is to be number one in each industry that we're in. And so there's ample opportunity for guidance and um, mentoring in, and helping you build, be all you can be. Wow. That's amazing. That is so, definitely amazing. Yeah, so I know there's a lot of pet lovers out there, and you mentioned your your pet franchise. It's a mobile. You said it's a mobile. Is it like on a, a truck or does, or yeah, how does that we, work? So we we take a very tall van, and we build it out, and so 
they we visit homes or sometimes apartment complexes and people we take the pet and bring them into the van and groom them right on site so it's a, it's much less anxiety for for the pet it's a lot simpler to for us to bring the pet to the van than it is to load your your pet into a your car and take them take them and drop them off amongst dozens or, or many other pets and um, they don't have to mingle they don't have to, they get to be by themselves in a very comfortable environment and uh, yeah the the animals love it and and their their owners love it wow that's, that's really great. cool i've so, never heard of that concept before i love yep, it just, just, oh go ahead yeah we actually we're not in san angelo yet but we are in atlanta Okay. Oh. Well, I think I need to bring it to San Angelo then. <laughs> How can we get started? Like, what do I need for starter calls, you know? And do yeah. we get our own van or how's that work? Yeah, we well, we set it. I mean, when, when we set up a franchise, we do everything. We okay. give you total guidance. I mean, we give you training. We, we, this is where you acquire the van. This is how you wrap the van. This is, this is how you market. We, everything, every step of the way, every day, we give you guidance each and every day. And so the only, you know, what, what I found in franchising is that my job is to give the franchisee the best system in the universe, better system than anyone else. I've been doing that for 54 years. And if I do my job, your job is to follow that system. It, and so um, you would think, though, that I've been doing this 54 years. Some people join us. They haven't been doing it for 54 minutes. And you would think they would automatically do exactly what I say. But it goes totally against human nature. Out of the 5,200 people I've brought in, not one. zippity doo No one has ever listened 100%. So... Uh, that's the key, and and what I it doesn't matter how smart you are, it doesn't matter how educated you are, it doesn't matter how rich you are or experienced you are. Only one thing matters: if you're willing to follow the recipe, mm -hmm. I'm going to give you the recipe. You have to follow it step by step. Whenever you deviate from the path that we recommend, it's going to cost you time or money or both. So. Again, I said, I bragged earlier that I helped create a thousand millionaires. I had a thousand people go out of business because the successful people listen 98 or 90%, 99% of the time. The people that fail listen less than 90% of the time. So what I, what I implore people is don't give me any money. Don't join us unless you really, really are going to try to set aside everything you think you know and put it aside and learn the system. Follow the system. That's the, that's the phrase I've said 10 times more in my life than any other phrase. Wow. If, if not 100 times, follow the system. That's wow. why they're in place. The business systems that, that are proven. And, and like you said, you've done it for 54 years. So you have to follow directions, y'all. So, I mean, you know, we're just now getting into learning business systems, April and I. And so um, there, I've seen a lot of pushback. So I kind of understand what you're saying about how people don't don't like to listen or they want to deviate or think they have a better way. And with your experience, it just makes total sense, of course. It's Definitely. probably not hard. Very easy. Yeah. Just follow directions. Right. And I think it's hard, I guess, for our entrepreneurs. You know, we kind of bullheaded it sometimes. You know, we want to do things our way. We know everything. We're smart, like you said. Um, and it's it's the following the system, I think, that may be hard for some people. Um, for franchises, would you kind of compare that to a business in a box with mentorship and support? Because a business in a box, you kind of, they give you the setup, but it's up to you to kind of do your own thing and make it work or not. With the franchise, you know, you guys offer support, mentorship, structure, a plan, a process, and everything like that. Can you go more into just like the process for somebody, like you said, with zero experience to get started with the franchise? Yeah, I think I uh, let me let me give an analogy. It's sort of like um, you you have a bus company. Well, we 
drive up the bus and give you instructions, right? right? So here's the bus, right? And then we here's here's how you get people to, to board the bus and, and or that that pay to ride the bus. And and all you have to do is drive the bus, right? It's a, drive the system, right? When you when you run a business, you have to have two things. You need customers and then you need a system for handling the customers. And but part of the system for handling the customers is is obtaining the customers. We give you every step of the way. And you know, I don't know if you two have children, but you certainly been children. And I didn't listen to my parents, and sometimes I should have. And I have six children, eleven grandchildren, and almost four great grand. Any minute, a fourth great grandchild, and no one listens. And I think <laughs> of I think of franchisees like my children. It's human nature not to listen, and you have to fight human nature to win and be successful. That is so funny. Oh. Congratulations too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah congratulations you. on the new coming grandchild and all your uh, you. big family you've created. And yeah. that, that is that's a great analogy though, because uh I've definitely I have children as well, but I definitely was a child and even to this day, there's there's times I've been I don't always listen to the recipe or you know, uh like baking a cake, right? So you know <laughs> but and uh the same yeah. with driving. I used to be a, a bus driver, truck driver, whatever. And um, like you said, stick to the route. Because if you start to <laughs> go your own way, you get lost, you go down a dead end, you got a bag up and it's not safe and a whole bunch of stuff, you know, you didn't even anticipate. Exactly. Right. Yep. But I'm sure you're, you're able to, uh, if, if they have to uh, suffer a consequence for not uh, listening uh, directly, you know, to exactly what you're saying, you can reel them back in on track, I'm sure. <laughs> so, but um. Uh, talk more about the, I guess, the new tax business, the new, uh, is it similar to the Liberty tax and the, the ones that you already done, or is it just a, a newer concept uh, or just it's, the same old system, you know? You know, you know, the, um, I worked at H&R Block mm -hmm. and then I started Jackson Hewitt and I did things a little bit better. 95% of the same of what they do, I do. I do. Uh, and I'll give you an example in a minute of things we do different. Um, and then I worked at, and then after 15 years building this half a billion dollar company, that's 23rd largest retail chain in the country. Um, if, if you build something for 15 years and the next time start over again, you better be a lot smarter, right? Or you're an idiot if you didn't learn anything in 15 years. So next time it only took me 12 years to build a $500 million company. Okay. Then now, now I built, so now I've done it twice and I get to do it all over again. So ATAX is, has the best system in the industry, but it's only a little different. The, and the difference between, I, you know, one of the phrases I love is the difference between, um, the, the difference between extraordinary and ordinary, ordinary is the little extra, right? Yeah, extraordinary, right? It's okay. a little extra. And we do things that are just a little bit better. So I'll give you one example that we have about 18 things we do better than our competitors. But here's one of them, that during the tax season uh, in tax, in that uh, we have, there's 15 weeks, but most of the business is done just in four busy weeks. And during those four busy weeks, it reminds me of, I live in Virginia Beach. And today, if you go to the oceanfront and in, uh, in you know, March or, or February or March, um, you can get an oceanfront room for $150. Mm. But during July or August, during the season, it's three or four times that much. Mm. They do things different. They staff up during the summer right? They expand their hours. The restaurants are open more. Well, I love driving by an H&R Block office at quarter to nine in the morning and seeing customers standing outside. And the preparers are inside with the lights on, playing with their computer, because they're like a bank. They open at 9 a.m. But if you are an entrepreneur like me and like my franchisees, you're not going to let a customer stand outside. You're going to open the door. So one simple thing that we do better 
you have to differentiate from your competitor. One simple thing we do is expand our hours during those four very, very busy weeks. If David had gone on to the field with the same sword, the same armor, the same shield as Goliath, there wouldn't be any David and Goliath story. He'd be the 189th guy killed by Goliath. You have to have differentiators. So we have a few extra things that we do that separates us and makes us the best system on the planet. Wow, that is awesome. Those are some gems that you just dropped there because even with people that are starting their own business and their own business models and systems, they could take that and run with it. They just do, if it's the same in industry, just do the extra, go the extra mile, do the extra little things for your business and do it and do it extraordinary. So that's, those are some gems right there. Y'all, that's a great takeaway. Big gems. Yes. Little differences make big differences, I believe. And especially if it's the only difference, you know, like you're a differentiator that sets you apart from the other people. Because like you said, if everybody's doing the same thing, the exact same way, What's, what's the incentive to, you know, come your way? Right. And and think about, I mean, industry after industry, right? You have McDonald's. Look at this hamburger mm -hmm. industry, right? Burger King does things different. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Wendy's has their niche. Hardy's has their niche. Arby's has their niche. I mean, they're each you have to have differentiators or else you're going to sink in oblivion. Very true. Yes. So you said that the tax franchise is called, did you say A, like like Apple, A tax? I've seen it. A tax. A -tax. Okay. Yep. Okay. Letter A tax. Yep. That's yep. awesome. I've so, definitely seen it. I didn't know that was you. Yep. That's awesome. We yeah. are in Atlanta. We're not in San Angelo yet. See, there's some room okay. for me over here. I'm excited. <laughs> y'all in <laughs> San Angelo and Texas area, y'all need to get with me. <laughs> Definitely. You got no, no, the franchise it. in Texas? Yeah. Um, uh, I'm sure there's startup capital. I don't know if you were able to disclose that. Like, what would you need to start up a, 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 in, a franchise? In, in, uh, yeah, in both, in both, uh, in, in most of our franchises, in both of those, ATAX and Zoom and Grimmie. The startup capital is about $60,000 cash. Okay. All right. That's then, not bad. You, can't not buy bad. House, you cannot buy a house for $60,000. dollars i say you a house won't make you a millionaire. No, no it won't. <laughs> that house that you put $60,000 down on, it'll take a 100 years to become a millionaire on that. Right. <laughs> right. That's not bad. It's so much more attainable now that you said that because um, I think, you know, we get, I know at least speaking for myself, I hear franchise, franchise, franchise. We all know McDonald's is a franchise and stuff like that, but I never really put any thought into what it really takes to to do it and what it's like and do you have to do it by yourself or do you have help? So I really like your system, how you are supportive because you want people to win because that's your franchise. You know, the, the key to have to a, a franchise system and I, I'm the only one that's built two of the top 100, right? Mm. The key is it's very simple. And it's called happy, successful franchisees. If you have happy, successful franchisees, you can't fail. You're just And you can't stop growing. If you don't, you can't win. You're going to fail. Mm. So most many franchisors don't get that. They build a system for themselves and not for the franchisees. So I, I on uh, big letters on corporate headquarters, you come into my building, it says happy, successful franchisees. I love it. That's a value system. I feel like we're, we continue to move farther and farther away from as we get more corporate and, you know, just impersonal and stuff like that. And um, I think there is a huge disconnect between corporate and just, uh, you know, workers and, and the public and stuff like that. So I really like that you incorporate that into your business. I, I feel like, um, that's been it's been working well for you. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. and it's not just it's not just franchisees. It's happy, successful employees. Yeah, you know, that too. Back back when I was at, uh, thirty years ago, thirty five years ago, used to be customers number one, customers number one, customers number one, and then a couple uh, books uh, like Herb Kelleher stepped forward with Southwest Airlines, and he said no. He wrote a book called Nuts. A very simple paperback, easy to read book called Nuts. And in that book, he said, if you want your customers, I'm sorry, if you want your customers to be treated as number one, 
you have to treat your employees as number one. And so no, my mantra no. is happy, successful employees, happy, successful franchisees. I, I support that message. <laughs> I do too. That's, it's so simple, but it makes so much sense. It really does. And uh, the franchisees and employees, they want to be appreciated. You know, I know you, I'm on a job. I'm, a, I'm in education. So, I mean, of course, we all want to be appreciated for the hard work we're doing and stuff. And, um, you know, I have a, pa a passion for helping people too. I help my students and everything, but it trickles down. It really does, especially if mor morale is high and you're being, tr being treated right and you're appreciated then it trickles down to the customers. Absolutely. So it's so simple and it's awesome. So. And you know, great employees are the front door of your business. Yeah. That's an excellent point. The I learned I learned um I'm a student of business and mm -hmm. I was um about let me see how old I was I, I was it, it took me until I was almost 40 to learn what made the the extraordinary versus the ordinary. What why was Walmart Walmart and Kmart Kmart? Why was one company's great and conquering the world and one company's going down the toilet? And I learned this lesson in 1988. And I went, and I won't tell you, I waste time telling you how I learned it. But what I learned is that um, if you examine the, the executives at Walmart and the executives at Kmart and you think to yourself, are the, is the top team at Walmart, are they smarter? Are they more experienced? Are they more educated? And you, you think, no, you can hire the most educated. You can hire the smartest. Mm -hmm. You can hire the most experienced. So I won't put you on the spot and ask you what's the difference between the two. But the difference, I'll tell you, the answer that I learned was it's culture. It's the culture of the organization and the attitude. And Tom Watson Sr., one of the founders of IBM said, give me a hundred people with great attitudes or a hundred great engineers. I'll take the people with great attitudes because you can teach engineering. You can teach attitude. And in my career, I have tried to change the attitude of dozens, if not hundreds of people. And I've never, ever been successful. So culture is a real incredible asset. And if you want an extraordinary company, if you want, if you want to grow exponentially, you have to have a great culture. Absolutely. Y'all better put some fire in the chat right now. <laughs> He's dropping the gems to take Thank away for any type of business. That's so awesome. It's wonderful. So yes, I hope y'all are taking notes. Definitely. <laughs> I wanted to mention your ebook because um, you're definitely just a found more than a found of knowledge. Um, and I got to read a little piece of your ebook. I didn't make it all the way through, but can we talk about your ebook and like the type of things that you share with people? Yeah, I think that I, I wrote a book that really uh, talks about my career, talks about the entire growth of Jackson Hewitt and most of the growth of Liberty because I finished finished it before I finished Liberty. And um, what I talked about, I think one unusual thing is I'm not only am I trying to give lessons in every chapter, but I admit my mistakes. And my, I think mo many times people don't acknowledge their errors. And I talk about mistakes I made that helped me and that can help others avoid those mistakes. But I will say that um, not only do I have an ebook, I have a printed book on Amazon bestseller. And, and if any of your listeners want a copy, if, if they send me an email or they send you an email and you send me their address, I will mail them a book for themselves. It's called Little I, capital C, I Compete. Happy to awesome. happy to give a free book to any of your. Oh listeners. my God! Thank you so much. I'm excited, y'all. Did y'all just hear that? 
Y'all need Thank to you email so much. John or us and we'll get you a book. Oh, that is so great. Thank you so much. Thank Definitely you so a best selling book, which is yes. like decades of gems and advice. And like you said, like people don't always, they always want to talk about their successes, 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 but nobody tells you, like, this is where I messed up at because they don't want to admit it. So that girl. Ooh. That's where you learn. <laughs> that's where you learn is the mistakes. You know, that's just the po the positive, yes. you know, moments. And, you know, that's so great. Thank you so much for that. I'm yeah. going to have to email you myself to get a copy of the book. So. <laughs> yeah. But, well, yeah. well we, we've already sent one to you. So you don't have oh, to, okay. you don't yeah, have we to got the send me an email. And yeah. I've and I've read it. I've read some of it. Um, It's yeah. very good. What I've read so far is very good. Awesome. Oh, I'm gonna get, on, get, get, on, get, get the free book, definitely. Awesome, awesome. Oh wow, I don't know where to go here. I mean, we still got a few minutes. Um, I don't know, just uh, don't know what to ask anymore because I mean, I think we covered everything. April, do you have anything else? Or can you tell us about loyalty brands? Sure, we have. Yeah. Uh, I, as I said, I have. Uh, we have eight different brands, and I gave you the fastest growing. Mm -hmm. Where they're, they're all franchise systems. And they, um, they're our goal in every every one of our industries to be number one. So okay. I'll give you a quick um, thirty seconds on each of them. One is inspection franchise, where inspecting homes and um, and and pools and property, and so uh, that's called Inspection Boys. We also have a business broker franchise called Loyalty Business Broker, and that's. A lot of people don't aren't familiar with business broker. It's sort of like a, a realtor sells houses. Business broker buy helps people buy and sell businesses. We also have a uh, uh, an accounting franchise called Ledgers, which uh, you know I'm in the tax business with ATAX, but Ledgers focuses on accounting, payroll, and higher income taxpayers. The H and R Block, Jackson Hewitt, Liberty, and ATAX focus on people the the bottom eighty five percent of the income earners in the country. Mm -hmm. The ledgers focuses on on higher income um, customers. Uh, also, a, a real feel good franchise is called Little Medical School, and where we teach children from four to fourteen. They they get a little lab coat, they get a stethoscope. And we have over 130 modules on every medical procedure that you can imagine. And the, the feel good for me is I believe in that, in that franchise, that some of those children that are taking our course, our after school or summer programs are going to be nurses or doctors yes. because they got introduced by our course that they took when they were a child. And our newest one is is a roofing, roofing, siding, and solar. It's called CR3 uh, American Exteriors. So we have a myriad of different franchises. But as I said, the uh, the it's the one that's going crazy is the pet business. And and I learned over the last two and a half years being in the pet industry that there I used to think there was just two certainty in life, death and taxes. And then 30 years ago, Dennis Waitley wrote a book and said, no, there's a third certainty, change. And then over the last two and a half years, I said, well, there's a fourth certainty. People love their pets more than they love their children. <laughs> <laughs> Some people really do. Like, they oh do. Yeah. It's uh, a, it is a huge industry. And I have a dog. So they, they try to sell me all types of, all types of stuff. It's the only place, it's the only way on earth you can experience unconditional love. And that's true. That's true. And that stuff isn't cheap though. No. <laughs> Dogs are not cheap. They're not. I always tell people I don't I don't have a, a dog or a pet because I have kids, but maybe when my kids all grow up, I'll have a dog later. But I'm the opposite. I can, <laughs> I can, I can definitely like see that, see it uh, successful in my area though. So I might have to grab up some business partners and look into it some more, but that's so great. So, uh, so John, like where can people find uh, how to connect with you and possibly get uh, into one of the fr franchise offers that you have, the loyalty brands, you have a website or social media that you can share Absolutely. with us? 
Absolutely. We have everything. I'm on Wikipedia. I'm on, um, we have loyaltybrands.com. You can get a hold of me. And if you just, uh, John at loyaltybrands.com, if you want a book, we happy to send you a book. And uh, if you're interested in any information, um, the, the thing that drives me, that keeps me going at my age is changing lives. And it's, in, you know, I feel that at my age, most people retire and God bless them. That's fine for them. But I'm the most experienced in my life right now. And to go sit on a beach somewhere and not help all the millions, there's 31 million businesses in this country. And I'm more successful than 99.99% of it. I can help. And there are two thirds of Americans want to be self-employed. I'm here to help. And uh, I'm here to give back. I think do much is given, much is required. And, and I learned one of the lessons on the way is you can't, you can't give more than you receive. The more I give, the more I receive. And it's not from each individual person. But if I do something good for you, then something good happens to me from some other source. So I, I, that was a valuable lesson I learned 30 years ago, that you can't, you can't give more than you receive. So um, we're here to help change lives, improve, improve the world. So I mean, let, me, let me, lastly, let me say, I don't want to leave without saying this, but our mission statement, our mission statement is having fun, improving lives. And I think that on Monday morning, if you're going to work and you're not looking forward mm -hmm. to where you go and you go in the wrong place, life's too short. And I created, thank God it's Monday. Not thank God it's Friday. Thank God it's Monday. Cause you're going to, you're going to go make a difference. And then Improving lives, we mean the lives of our customers, our franchisees, our employees, our vendors, our, our stockholders, everyone. Wow, wow that's so good. So good. Y'all, those are some great gems, y'all. Thank it you. It so is. Much. And it's, wow. it's just great energy. I'm glad that you're just keeping that um that feeling. You know what I mean? That just mm -hmm. doing good business, the ethical, just caring about people. I'm so yes. happy that you're keeping that alive. Um and, and, yes. and we're in some crazy times. So, you know, now more than ever, it, it's just so important and valuable. So thank you definitely so much for that. Yes. I, I have to piggyback on that. Thank you so much for for how you are giving back and and like you said, you have the experience behind you. So who want wouldn't want to plug in with your systems and learn from you and just thank you so much because you didn't have to do it. So you could certainly be on that beach somewhere. Right. So I appreciate you. <laughs> I appreciate you. And thank you. It was such an honor having you on tonight. Definitely. Yeah. I feel like everything you said could be on like a t-shirt. Have you ever thought about yes. starting a t-shirt company? <laughs> <laughs> Literally I, so many great statements, so much wisdom. I appreciate your, your, uh, I appreciate the great questions. Thank you very much. I enjoyed it. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you all for listening tonight. Thank such you guys pleasure. so much for coming, Mr. Hewitt. It's been an honor and a pleasure. Yes. Um, I encourage everybody, all of our guests, he's been so generous as to offer a free ebook. We'll have the links in the description. You guys send an email if you want that book full of all this game and knowledge and wisdom. And if you guys are interested in um, getting into a franchise, you see, he has a lot in just so many different industries. I don't know how you keep up with all of that, but, you know, <laughs> another shout out to you. So you guys right. definitely reach out if you're interested. And thank you guys uh, for watching. Absolutely. Thank you again, John. And um, we hope to have you back in a few months to, see, you know, hear about some more updates and things. So thank you so Look much for coming on. Awesome. My pleasure. Thank, thank you. Bye-bye.